Hello everybody and thanks for being here and welcome to another episode of our Zentech Consultants uh, Blue Beam Review Tips and Tricks series. I'm Jim Coppinger from Zentech and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a really simple tool that can make your day-to-day -day work life a whole lot easier inside of Bluebeam. And I want to talk to you guys about going over here to the panel and going to our file access tab. Now, the file access tab right out of the box is pretty straightforward. What it does is it gives you access. It gives you the list of your most recently accessed files and PDFs. So every time you open up a new PDF, it goes to the top of this list. And you see you can what's nice here, you can actually hover over these and get previews, which is also really beneficial, right? But as you work your way through, as you open up new PDFs, each one of these will drop down the list. And eventually the one here at the bottom will actually just drop off of the list. Now, that's great, and, and you can go in here and you can work with these in a number of different ways. You can go in and you can group these by date, right? You can set them by folders, where they are, what their location is, which ones are most accessed. You can even go into access history to see which ones you accessed yesterday, a week ago, two weeks ago. But you can go a step beyond this. And one of my favorite tools in, in working with uh, the, the file access here is that you can actually pin documents that you work with all the time. And you can do it in two ways. Some folks know about one, but I'm going to show you both. So what I can do here, you know, for example, here's my Zentech proposal template. And I use that a lot to generate proposals. So I don't want that to fall off the end of the list. I want to be able to always access that. So what I can do is just by hovering over it, you see over here I've got this little thumbtack icon, I can pin that. Now, what most people will do at this point is just pin the file, right? which is fine. They pin the file and now you see it gives me two sections, pinned and recent. See now the recent list will continue to, to cycle like we were talking about. But up here the pinned list, any file that's up here will stay here so I can just click on it to open up that proposal template. Not a problem. And that's really useful. That'll stay there forever until I go back in, right click on it, and I go to pin and say unpin that file. And that's okay, but what I truly like about dealing with the Bluebeam file access structure is that I can actually create categories or folders so that I can keep entire projects. So for example, some of these are you know, we'll say they're, they're uh, you know, standard Zentech um, templates that I want to use. So instead, what I'm going to do here, when I go to the pin option and I click on the thumbnail, I'm going to pin this to a new category. It says, what category? And I'm going to call it my Zentech standards so that I can keep all of my standard folders and templates underneath that folder. Okay. Then I can go and I can go to other setups. So if I go down here and say, all right, what's another one that's uh, a standard here? Um, you know, I use this NCS layer guideline. That's part of our standards. I can go to here and I can pin it. And you see now I can actually make that part of the Zentech standards category. And I can create other categories. Right? So if I needed to add, I'll just grab another one and say the, uh, um, I don't know, I'll, I'll grab any one of these, right? how surveying works. And I'll put that in the Zentech standards. And now you see I can actually collapse that folder and it will always be there. So now whenever I need to start anything from a standards folder, I expand my standards. Here are my standard PDF forms. I, I can do it based on projects. So if you know this this um, civil plans, right? That was part of project ABC. I can just pin that and create a new category. Call that whatever the project name is. Project you know one two three four five. Right? And I can just go ahead and say okay. And now you see that's under the project one two three four five category. And I can add all of the project and folder information that I need. Really, really convenient way to make sure that days and months and years from now, I still have direct access. Four years from now, I can go right to my Zentech standards and open up any of these files just by clicking right here. It will always be right there at the top of my list. Really, really helpful, useful tool. Hope that gives you guys something to work with. Have a good one.